Hi Capricorn, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your, what is going on with your person spread? <laughs> All right, so this could be if you're single or in a connection, whoever you're thinking about, whoever's on your mind, um, we're going to see what is going on with them, okay? Um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there, all right? Um, if I happen to say he or she while explaining a picture on the card, there is no gender in tarot, so place it as you may, all right? Um, also, I just wanted to make a quick announcement. Um, I am doing a Valentine's Day giveaway, so to enter, please like, subscribe, and comment your name below. If you are uncomfortable commenting your name, you can always send me an email. Information's in the description box, okay? I'm giving away three free 30-minute um, U-verse Them love reads um, for Valentine's Day, so um, it'll hone in and I'll zone in on you and your person's energy all right so make sure you subscribe like and comment your name also um i'm using the sexual tarot there is um all nudity on these cards and i do go into a little bit of sexual stuff so if you're not comfortable with that maybe this reading just isn't for you okay um all right let's get into it capricorn let's see what is going on capricorn's person in love. My nose is itchy. Mm, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on with the Capricorn? <laughs> All right, you deserve love and oh, reconciliation. All right, so you deserve love. You are lovable. Um, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. All right, I'm not sounding bummed about that. Some of you might be. I'm trying to stay away from the exes, but it's Mercury retrograde and mm, can't really help what happens in the cards. And then we have attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right. So um, it's, you know, everyone has free will. So it's your choice if you want to reconcile or not. But we'll see what this person is thinking and feeling towards you. Okay. Man holding a coin and yin and yang. So Male or female does not matter. This person um, feels like you are possibly like the balance for them. You know, their other half, um, yin to their yang. Man holding a coin could be male or female. This person may be financially stable or see you as such, um, Capricorn. Um, so they could find like that you balance them out in some way, all right? Um, they could be very financially stable as well. Um, maybe they want to come in and take care of you, um, something along those lines. They could be a business owner or high up in a company. Let's get into it and find out. All right, what is up with Capricorn's person? All right, we have the King of Cups. And Ten of Wands. All right. So there's a lot of emotions here for you. This person, um, or you could be dealing with a water sign possibly. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't have to be, but I feel like there's a lot of emotions here. There could have been some kind of a burden or maybe their emotions for you are becoming a burden if this is someone from the past that hasn't actually made the connection or a reconnection with you. It could be burdening them that they can't be with you because in this picture, it's like this person keeps thinking about like having sex with you. They find you very, very, very attractive, male or female, okay? Um, they may have liked to um, like rub your head when you guys were like cuddling or relaxing. They may have liked to do that for some of you. Let's see what else. Is this upside down? Yeah, it is. I don't take reversals in this deck, so. Um, Ten of Cups. Yeah. You emotionally fulfill this person, and maybe that's the burden I'm feeling. Like, their burden is that maybe, maybe you're on the fence about reconciling with this person maybe you don't know and it's burdening them um all right how do they feel about capricorn it's like this person loves you they it's like they're, they want to offer you something or give you something or everything like give you their all maybe in the past they didn't now they realize it all right how do they feel about capricorn
Six of Cups. <clears throat> you could be into art or this person could be into art <laughs> for some of you um, this person could have possibly you could be in another connection with someone else for some of you and this person like like it hurts this person that you're in another connection or commitment with somebody else. Let me get another one. Um, again, someone from the past. So if this is someone from the past, like returning, they see that you're with someone else and it makes them not happy. It makes them really sad. Like look at the, like she's sitting on a bench with like a painting here of two people like kissing. How else do they feel? They also feel like you're a soulmate to them too, okay? Um, Knight of Cups. <laughs> Page of Wands. They, we have the tower here. There could have been a tower moment in the past with this person, or maybe you're going through a tower moment, or they are right now. Maybe like that wake up call or something kind of shook one of your worlds up and maybe now you're having like that aha moment or that wake up call. Or this is them like really wanting to rebuild with you on solid ground. All right. They want like a stable, you know, start off with like on solid ground, not something that's shaky, not something that's going to fall apart again. I feel like they want to swoop in and scoop you up like the night in shining armor and just come in and grab you on their noble steed <laughs> on their horse here um, there's a lot of passion all right they may make like innocent romantic gestures to you maybe text you like cute flirtatious stuff um, but I feel like really what they're thinking is like that kind of flirtatious stuff there's a lot of emotion here, a lot of attraction here. All right, what is blocking them from coming in? What is the blockages? What's blocking them from coming towards you or for this connection in general? What are the blockages? Blockages, thank you. The chariot. Not, not moving forward. Something's not moving forward right now. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're kind of like, I don't know what I want. I don't know. You could be in another connection and they kind of, it's someone from the past that just kind of popped up and you're kind of like at a standstill. I don't know what to do. This person wants forward movement here. Yeah, they want a transformation. They feel like you might be like guarded and blocked off, like you're not opening up to this person. You're you're on the fence. You're holding back. Um, this person wants victory and success, but they feel like it's being blocked because you're being guarded. Um, they want to transform this connection. They may really like like your lower back or like if you arch your back they may like to like grab your your lower back or your ass they may like to just like caress you or like the feel of your skin you might like to wear dresses if you're a female or male, whatever. Doesn't matter. You guys could like, like to have, or used to like to have picnics or hang out in fields or just be outdoorsy, do stuff that's like go on hikes, do stuff that's outside, possibly have sex outside for some of you. 
Alright, what is this person's hopes? What are their hopes? For this connection, what is this person hoping for? Capricorn. That's a lot. I'm not taking all that. It's way too many. Um, I am going to do Aries through Pisces after this, so stick with me till the end, okay? All right. What are they hoping for? With Capricorn. What is this person hoping for? Well, they're hoping for a lot because they keep getting big chunks come out. Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to you. They're not letting go. They're hoping that you make a decision with the Two of Wands here. They're hoping that possibly you guys can have like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation if you haven't already. Um, they want you to be more open with them and flirt with them a little bit more. Like stop holding back from them yeah seven of swords I don't get I'm not getting the sense that they feel like you're sneaky here with seven of swords or like there was lying betrayal maybe in the past there could have been but right now I feel like they're just feeling ignored like they're strategizing on how to convince you or come towards you or start that conversation or have that heart-to-heart -heart talk with you um here's that ten of swords You know, I, if you are in another connection, it really hurts this person to, like, see you with them. It's like they, their cups spilt over, the candles blown out. It's, yeah, like they're, they don't like seeing you with somebody else if you are with somebody else. If not, this is like they want to talk about past betrayal or past pain, past hurts, past backstabbing, whatever. They want to have like that heart to heart with you and talk about all that with you. Knight of Pentacles, they want to have a, a slow, steady, new beginning. Um, I feel like this person wants to give you everything that they can. You know, whatever they can give to you, I feel like they want to build that stability and that trust with you and give you whatever they can emotions financial stability whatever it is this guy's like handing her something i don't know what it is a line possibly but he wants like this he or she whatever wants to give to you they could really really like your legs you might have really nice legs that turns them on. You might like to wear garter belts for some of you. They want a reconciliation, judgment, lover's card, Scorpio and Gemini. Um, there could be a choice here. You could have a choice between them and someone that you're already dating or with, connected to, whatever. They want you to choose them. They want a reconciliation. This person, for some of you, may want to, like, start a family with you, have children. For some of you, they see you as a soulmate connection. They, it's like they want a reconciliation and, like, they never want to let you go. Not in a creepy way, like, or a toxic way. Like, if you reconcile or you take this person back, like, they're never going to want to let you go. They see it now. They know it now. They want it all with you. They want it all with you. All right. Let's see. Anything from the angels here? Messages for Capricorn. Not taking it. That's too many. Look for a sign. All right. So if you're confused, look for a sign. Talk to your guides. Meditate. Maybe friends. The one that fell out that I looked at said helpful people. So maybe you have some like trustworthy people that you can talk to in your life to get some guidance. Or even, you know, spirit, the divine, God, angels, whatever you believe in. You know, talk to them. See if they can help guide you and what decision to make. All right. It's... <laughs> It's up to you. 
It is up to you. No need to worry. Whatever, remain positive. I feel like whatever decision you make, it, it's going to be the right one for you, okay? But this person, mm -mm, they, they don't want to let you go. All right, let's go. Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, uh, that might have been toxic. That might have been a toxic connection. I immediately got, maybe they got someone else pregnant here, all right? Um, but they're hoping that they can heal this with you for some of you. All right, Taurus, if you're dealing with a Taurus. Taurus is watching you. They're really stressed out, sleepless nights, high anxiety. So Taurus can't stop thinking about you. Gemini. Gemini is trying to make a decision, but Gemini might be toxic, okay? Or maybe they feel like stuck and bound to you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer. Cancer sees you as a wish fulfillment, but they are staying single or you are, all right? Even though you make them happy or this person could overindulge a little. All right, Leo, if you're dealing with a Leo. Leo wants to work on this and move things to calmer waters. All right, Virgo. You're dealing with a Virgo. Virgo could be juggling two people, having sex with two people, all right, for some of you. Or they are trying to decide if they want a passionate new beginning with you, all right? Libra. Libra's being patient. Trying to balance things out. They see you as a soulmate. They could be single or trying to communicate to you that they're single. Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio is undecided, doesn't know, can't see the truth, trying to get the truth. They're undecided. They're trying to make a decision. Head over heart. Um, they could just want to remain single. There could have been a tower moment between the two of you, and that's why they are undecided. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is in Sagittarius's energy. Knight of Wands. They could be trying to find the strength to release some kind of burden, but I think for now, Sagittarius wants to just be fun, free, and flirty. Capricorn. Capricorn's trying to manifest um, some kind of balance or equal give and take with you. Uh, Aquarius. Aquarius could feel guarded, left out in the cold, and cut off and blocked off emotionally. Pisces. Pisces. Could be on with a Pisces. Pisces is a player. <laughs> Pisces is a player. All right. Um, I hope this helped Capricorn. Please like, subscribe, and comment your name below, and I will enter you into the Valentine's Day giveaway. And until next time, love and light. Take care.